On next to Ms. Corti. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. So I believe this question really refers to the messages that we've heard the last month uh, from uh, efforts and um, marches of the Black Matters. Uh, Black Matters. And um, I am one that um, really believes that that uh, whether you call it uh, racism or you call it uh, systemic discrimination or unintentional bias, uh, that yes, it, it does uh, exist in Scottsdale. I think it exists everywhere. I think it exists, it's a human condition. Um, racism has been a part of the human experience from the beginning of reported time. Um, our oldest texts uh, document uh, racially motivated wars and violence. So what do we do about that? Well, we first start talking about it. And, and I think that's the most important thing is conversations do make a difference. Conversations matter. And we, we create, whether that's through the Human Relations Commission, that uh, we create a, a, a real uh, community broad conversation around um, um, unintentional bias in uh, whether it's within the city of Scottsdale or in the workplace or how we, we uh, deal with each other um, on the sidewalk and, uh, and uh, in traffic. Uh, so that's my uh, proposal is a, is a uh, unintended bias uh, task force that is community broad. Thank you, Ms. Carty. I'm next to Mrs. Clapp. Well, I think you have to take action and you have to call out racism when you see it, not just have a conversation or a task force. If it happens, you've got to recognize it and call it out. And we had an incident just a few days ago at a rally where uh, unfortunately a councilman made a comment that was racist and uh, people are sending me thousands of emails related to this about how they are angry and upset about this and I agree with them. So I am the only councilman and the only mayoral candidate who has actually suggested that that councilman really consider resigning from his, his position because of the remarks he made. These people will not let this go and I think rightly so and I think you have to take action, call it out when you see it and get in and make sure that people understand that you that you don't agree with it or you are complicit. And I also mentioned I've attended a, a forum with black leaders and uh, the NAACP about a week ago. I'm invited to another one in two weeks just because of this issue. And I intend to go there as well. I think those kinds of discussions are needed. We don't have to set up a task force. People are already acting. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Scott. 